So the first thing you're doing is taking the back axle off. Yes, indeed, yep. Yeah. Now this is a little 24 mil nut on here. It's all pretty sort of straightforward stuff. We'll get this out here. Then what we'll do is we'll lift the chain, slide the axle out. These come out pretty easily. Peeled off. Yeah, just, just lift off, that off. Pull that over there like that. Okay. You had to, you had to back that off with something, though, surely. No, it just came off by hand. You just yeah. lift it off, eh? See, a lot of people will make a mistake and think they've got to undo the chain adjuster. Yeah. Ne no. no. Never undo the chain adjuster. The only, only time you'd undo that is if your chain is tensioned too tight and there's too much weight on the axle, it means you can't pull the axle out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, this wheel will go back in the same way it's come out as you can imagine, and the chain tension will not change. It'll be the same as you bought it to it. So you'd be amazed. Quite often you can get people that will come in here and they'll say, oh, you didn't adjust the chain properly. Well, we don't adjust the chain because it goes back together the way you bought it to me. Exactly. So I'll just grab the front. Getting around to it. And a big rush on tyres today, so it's really quite exciting. <laughs> I thought you had to do something. Oh, I know. But <laughs> Good mind. I've got to break out occasionally. <laughs> got to keep my eye on. So they all came out of there. Yep. These are what they call push drive rubbers. Oh, okay. So you know, during gear change and riding down the road, as the motorcycle is uh, just under general operation, you can get a, like a, a lot of. Um, like Almost sort of like a lot of uh, tightening and or like a, a a lot of whip in the chain, yeah. and it stops this from clunk 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 and being transferred through here, which in turn can also cause the gearbox to wear prematurely. So what this does, it sits in there, and it just softens it and makes the whole operation a lot smoother. Okay. Here. Push them as wide as they go comfortably with a screwdriver, eh? Is that yep. all? Just spread them wide enough there. Okay, now it's really important. This has to be attached to the swing arm. If you don't have this sitting there, the moment you apply the brake, the caliper's going to roll around, it's going to uh, jam the wheel up, rip the brake cable out, and consequently you're going to have a whole lot of hardship. Uh, yeah, it's this lug down here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the mount on your bracket is this slide here. Yep. So when this goes in, and it's important that you get that to sit down in there. Some wheels are a little funny. It depends on how much room you've got to move as to at what point in time you'll actually put it in. Okay. So get him sitting in there. So that's the connection, there's no other. That's what stops it from moving around. Yeah, got to make sure that none of your spaces fall out of your wheel. So that little fella is sitting down in there, like that. That one there. It's just ever so slightly catching there, so just got to move him up in there. Slide that up in there. Roll the chain on. Chain on. Move that up there. Space around this side. Wiggle that around there until you find the right bit. Okay, get that lined up there. Get to see that it is there. See that spacer? Just pushing it into its yeah, spot it's, there. It's, see, it's just catching just on the bottom side no, there. Okay. So oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. There we go. Just getting the fit down there. Get the old tap over. 
chip they've come a long way of saying from the old uh, line it up on each side and you know like a push bike and it's one way and it's bound the other way. Okay. Now this is a really real this is a really crucial time. Make sure that when you go and tighten this axle up that when you're doing it up and you're pulling backwards to tighten it up, what can happen during that process is the wheel can twist. Okay, so it pulls it sort of back on the because you're pulling back this way and it's going yep. to make this twist. Yep. So what happens is this block moves away from the adjuster. Yep. And you can see daylight in there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now that means now you've gone tighten it up thinking everything's really good. Yep. What you have to do is to be sure that that's never going to happen. This is really simple. You can grab a piece of stick, rag a tool, whatever you've got available, put that in there and roll that there like that. You've only got to roll it forward just that much and what it's doing is it's pulling the wheel onto these adjusters. Okay. Okay. And it doesn't matter how tight you want to pull on this here, it will not twist that wheel. If you only put that in there, just pull it back so there's some tension on it, pulling everything forward. Time to tighten them up. You can't go wrong. There's just no way it'll twist back when you're doing that. It is, you know. Yeah, what you'll put back to together then now is the bike's ready to go again. Ready to rock and roll.